Hi, uh, this is Craig, and I was going to show some uh, artifacts uh, that I found at the trenches. Uh, I started hunting, found this place in October 25, uh, 1997, and uh, <clears throat> ended up finding, uh, well, I used a Nautilus uh, DMC-2B uh, for several months when I was hunting back here, and uh, and I went back many years later with a uh, Mine Lab uh, Explorer XL. But uh, I'll show you the stuff I found. This is the stuff I found with the Nautilus. And uh, I got 54 bullets and uh, three buttons the first time. This is kind of a neat butt bullet. It's a uh, Prussian bullet. And it's the only one I've ever found. <clears throat> and it was. Uh, almost 18 inches deep in a swamp and uh, I got soaking wet and mud all over me digging this bullet but uh, it uh, weighs about an ounce and three quarters and uh, it's, uh, it seems to be over 69 caliber and uh, a friend of mine was he found a belt buckle and then he found a spur and then he kind of moved out of the area and I said uh, you finished with that area and he said yeah there's nothing there and I went over and I kicked a bunch of stuff out of the way and I dug a uh, Virginia half penny it's not in great shape this is a third one I've dug but uh, you can see the state seal on the back and <clears throat> the date is invisible but they only made the one date 1773 and uh, this is a U.S. boss or bit that I found the first day that I hunted there. It's pretty nice shape. And uh, this is a half dime I found, 1853. And uh, a friend of mine found some stuff and uh, he found, uh, I think it was uh, nine bullets and 22 round uh, buck balls in one hole and a staff officer coat button and when he moved away I started checking the area and I found this half dime about a half an inch deep right next to a tree it's in really good shape except for a little bit of tarnish and that was about uh, my best finds with the Nautilus hi this is uh, Craig, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I found with uh, my mine lab, but uh, I forgot to uh, show off my uh, U.S. belt buckle. It's not in great shape, but a buckle is a buckle, and it's, uh, it's got all the hooks on it, but it's down in a swampy area, and uh, <clears throat> it's probably about a foot deep, and the edges crumbled off of it as, uh, when I pulled it out of the ground. But I still like it. <clears throat> See all these Williams cleaners that I dug. <clears throat> Never seen so many in one area. And a lot of the a lot of the soldiers didn't like Williams cleaners. They thought that the plug uh, had been taken out and poison inserted, and then the plug put back in. They called them poison bullets, and a lot of them threw them away because they didn't like the fact that it, it was dirty dirty pool when you used one of those but it wasn't true and uh, this is a uh, part of a the shoulder scale for the epaulette I found this about a foot deep it was ringing like a bell and this was probably my deepest plate this plate was about 16 inches under a tree and uh, the weird thing about it is it doesn't have any hooks, but it's got like uh, two screws drilled through it. But uh, you can see the eagle on it. It's not in too bad a shape except for a little bit of nick there. And this is a nice button I found. Didn't find a lot of buttons in this area, but uh, this one was about six or seven inches deep. And I found this one right next to it. It's an eagle eye also, but 
This is a knapsack hook, uh, kind of an unusual one. Normally you see triangle hooks and uh, J hooks and uh, side hooks. <clears throat> this is like an early war. And this is the top of a canteen. It's a little bit messed up. Sometimes the uh, soldiers will put their initials on it. And some car bullets over here. I don't know if that one is flat. It's just I guess that one's fired, but it's it looked like it bounced around because it's flattened on both sides and a big chunk on it. This is unusual. It's a uh, it says warrant it superior and it has an eagle on it. And these were used, uh, but contractors put these on saws. I found another one in another site. Uh, about a mile away that was even better shape, a little bit different. This may be a fuse, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell. All right. Oh, I had one other find that I wanted to show. This is a spur that I dug up. And this was down about a foot and a half. And I'd been all over this area with the Nautilus. And uh, when this popped out of the ground, I was really surprised. It's in really good shape. It's got a design on the back. and It's a neat find.